Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. In the city of God, night shall be no more. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise God, my help and my God. By day the Lord commands God's love, and at night God's song is with me. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. And a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, beginning at verse 22. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. 
And after Jesus had dismissed the crowds, he went up by the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, Jesus came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught Peter, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, O Lord. The lifting of my, my hands as, as an evening sacrifice. Let us pray. Give us your peace, O God, that we may rejoice in your goodness to us and to all your children, and be thankful for your love revealed in Jesus Christ. Tonight, we especially thank you for the faithful witness of Christian people, the vast universe of galaxies and stars, family and friends with whom we have shared this day, the courage to be bold disciples even in the face of storms and wind that would threaten us. We thank you for the labors of all those who have served us this day. Give us your peace this night, O God, that we may be confident of your care for us and for all of your children as we remember the needs of others. Especially we pray tonight for our sisters and brothers in the Episcopal and Methodist churches. We pray for racial justice and reconciliation, those who are poor and vulnerable, agents of caring and relief. We pray for help for those who are abused or neglected. Tonight we pray for those we know and care for. We pray for Roxy and Sharon, Linda, Bobby, Shirley, Gil and Margaret, Q, Kelly, and Fran. And for all those whom we name silently before you, in our hearts. Gracious God, source of all healing, in Jesus Christ you heal the sick and you mend the broken. By your Holy Spirit, may all those whose names we have mentioned before you, whether spoken with our lips or in the sacred silence of our hearts, May they know your healing touch and be made whole. God, our shepherd, you have brought us through this day to a time of reflection and rest. Calm our souls and refresh us with your peace. Keep us close to Christ and draw us closer to one another in the bonds of his wondrous love. We pray through Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever.